Do you want to absolutely destroy SoundCloud in 2024 as a DJ and a producer? Do you want to get more plays and fans and growth on your SoundCloud in 2024? Today, I want to look at some SoundCloud updates, debunk some myths when it comes to SoundCloud as DJs, look at some growth hacks, and chat more about SoundCloud for artists. Let's go. If you want to grow on SoundCloud in 2024, then you need to subscribe to this channel because that's what I help DJs and producers do so much. Also, you don't want to miss my demo live stream sessions that happen every Monday and Wednesday where we listen to your demos and give you feedback live on this channel. You don't want to miss those. So hit the subscribe button. First up, when it comes to SoundCloud, let's debunk some myths and let's chat DJ mixes. I chat to so many DJs and producers and I ask them, can I listen to your new mix on SoundCloud? And they say, I don't put mixes on SoundCloud. And they always get pulled down for copyright issues. Yes, they did. Six or seven years ago, they stopped doing that and they haven't done it for a long time. We upload as data transmission around 30 to 40 mixes per week across data transmission SoundCloud, data transmission radio SoundCloud, data transmission drum and bass SoundCloud, new techno SoundCloud. We upload so many mixes and none of them get pulled down for copyright and we haven't had an issue for years. So let's debunk that one for a start. My theory is SoundCloud a while back rolled out monetization for tracks on SoundCloud. Now, when they rolled that out, it would seem highly likely that you can only monetize tracks. If you upload a mix, it stops it being monetized. Well, if it knows that that's a mix, that means the copyright side of it would know it's a mix too, and therefore treat it differently as a different piece of content. So let's all say this together. It's okay to upload mixes now. You can do this. Okay, so that's mixes debunked. Let's chat platform now. I was watching an interview recently and SoundCloud announced that it considers itself as a social media for audio. And if you think about it, SoundCloud, you can share music, you can comment, you can like, you can engage, you can message. Now these are all the common features of a social network. So it's a social network for audio. Cool. So like other social networks, it's important to comment. It's important to be active on the platform and it's important to be active with your friends and your peers' music it's gonna help you get discovered on the platform as well. Similar to if you're using another social media. So all of those comments are now gonna drive people back to your page. Also, supporting other artists within your own page is gonna link you to your peers' music when it comes to the AI side of things, as it would do with, say, Spotify, for instance. And then that'll help when it comes to AI selecting music for their AI-driven playlists, which most of them are on SoundCloud. Because when it comes to AI, SoundCloud have recently purchased an AI platform called Musio. This is an artificial intelligence company at the forefront of machine machine learning technology. Musio will amplify SoundCloud's existing music intelligence capabilities and allow the company to leverage further its vast data to identify what's next in music trends and talent. Musio technology focuses on B2B audio referencing search. AI can listen to the music, automated tagging, playlisting tools for the music industry, and by listening to more tracks than a human could ever comprehend and identifying characteristics and patterns, its AI allows users to better predict success, which can in turn can increase the hit rate and ultimately revenue for artists. With its leading product suite and deeper integration with SoundCloud, Musio will become core to SoundCloud's discovery experience and help identify talents and trends ahead of anybody else. Okay, so that's super interesting. And with Musio helping discovery, then we can use some hacks that we use on other platforms to help your music discovered by the AI. One of these hacks is by adding your favorite tracks to a playlist on your own SoundCloud page and including your music within that playlist next to your peers' music. The AI will then get used to hearing peer, you, a peer, you, a peer, music in a row, and it'll then group you and the certain artists together when it's selecting music for AI playlists which is then gonna bring you more streams and followers. One thing you can do is if you've got a Spotify playlist and you've followed one of my videos on Spotify playlist, and if you haven't done seen them, check these out for why you should have a Spotify playlist. If you've got that Spotify playlist, you can use a software called soundis.com to pull all your playlists from Spotify to SoundCloud without you doing anything. It will literally copy it from one place to the other. It's wicked. What it actually does is when you update your Spotify playlist, it updates the SoundCloud for you. So you don't have to do any more work. It does all the heavy lifting for you. As with other social networks, you need to keep the content moving to keep you growing and keep the content consistent to keep you growing. For rappers and vocalists, this is easy for you because you can drop beats and bars and ideas on your SoundCloud and get people to use them and listen to them. These can be acapellas and raw formats of things. And it really works well for SoundCloud rappers on, on SoundCloud. DJs and dance music producers use the platform a little bit differently, don't we? Usually when it comes to DJs and dance music, producers, tracks stay on private until they're signed and then the label uploads them onto their page and then maybe you'll repost it or you'll upload it with your own upload. So keeping that content consistent is difficult 
because you've got to wait for those releases to happen. So what could you fit in between those releases? These could be bootlegs, edits, remixes, competition entries that haven't worked or haven't won, and you convert them into an edit so that people can download them to keep your following moving. Or they can be DJ mixes. And it's definitely worth having a DJ mix that's your warm up, your mid, your peak time, and any other cool sets that you've had. If you're regularly streaming, putting your regular mixes up there from that, it keeps the content moving. As I said, whether these are your own mixes, radio shows that you're reposting, live streams you're using, this is all great when it comes to mixes. And a regular mix can definitely definitely bring new fans. Who doesn't love a mix? I definitely do. If you've dropped a mix recently, put it in the comments. I like to listen to mixes when I do write these scripts for these videos. So drop me mixes in the comments. I want to hear some new music and some new mixes from you guys. With DJ mixes, let's face it, we always think the newest mix is the greatest mix we've ever done. But let's face it, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a good mix. Sometimes it's an okay mix. And sometimes it's a great mix. But you only get this by continuously doing them and being consistent with them. And you're going to find new fans by continuously dropping mixes. And you don't get a great great mix without practicing. Let's not forget that. And also, they can help you get more gigs as well because you've got stuff to send out to promoters. Other ways to keep your SoundCloud alive is by consistently, like I said, dropping edits and remixes and bootlegs of tracks that you're just loving and feeling. They're a great way to build releases between releases. They're kind of an unofficial release. They can also grow your following and your fans and they can also give you more engagements if you're using a download gate like Hypedit, for instance. And if you set it up right, you can get more engagements, more comments and more reposts. And they're still, for me, the biggest way to grow on the platform. For anyone that doesn't know what a SoundCloud repost is, it's not sharing the content to your Instagram. There's an actual button that reposts mixes and content onto your own page. And if you've got a label release, make sure you click that repost button and put it on your own page. If you've got a mix or a radio show with somebody else, click the repost button. But similarly, getting people to repost your track onto their pages helps you grow. The more reposts you get, the more other people's pages you get, and the more followers that you can access by hitting those pages. It spiders out, basically. You can build this up by having groups of friends repost each other. Data Transmission, we repost people all the time. And I have a link to, if you want to submit a repost, we charge for it, it's only small, but you then you access all of our following, and it's only for tracks. I'll drop the link below so you can, if you want to submit tracks with reposts. It really opens your track up to our reach, and it gets more people listening to your music. There's also platforms for growing reposts, like Repost Exchange. This is really cool as an artist. Build up credits by reposting each other's music, and you can choose the music you want to repost so it sits within your genre. People request to repost from you, you accept it, it goes on for a couple of days and then comes off, but then you grow more credits and then you can use those credits to hit bigger channels. Again, you get more reach from those people. Again, this can really, really grow your following and really, really grow your audience. The big thing for me when you do these free download or edit campaigns for getting more followers is making sure you get email addresses on that download gate because then you can email your fans and your followers, people that have downloaded stuff previously, because then it just drives more people back to your own SoundCloud. And if you want a three-stage strategy for promoting a new remix, check out this video, which I've just done. It literally tells you how to build a strategy for your content and your SoundCloud to get more followers and more reach across Instagram, across TikTok and SoundCloud. When it comes to comments, if you use SoundCloud for Artists, SoundCloud for Artists is, is the platform that allows you to monetize your music and your uploads. These have to be your original uploads and your original releases. It's also great for distributing music to other platforms. But within SoundCloud for Artists, there's actually a comment section. You can see every upload that you've uploaded and com people have commented on, and you can reply to them all in one place. And it makes it super easy to reply to comments, which then increases those engagements that I was talking about earlier, which then increases the reach of music. If you don't know about SoundCloud for Artists, check out this video next. It teaches you all about SoundCloud for Artists and how useful it is for DJs, producers, if you are self-releasing and are thinking about releasing music, just to keep the flow of releases going between your official releases with labels. The next thing we want to talk about is your profile. And this is a good time beginning of the year to really talk about branding and just how we're going to increase them for next year. Let's take this time to make sure all of your brand and profile align across all platforms. The same profile picture on your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube, your Facebook, and your SoundCloud. Let's make it easy for people to find you. When they search your name, they can find you on all the platforms. The strategy is aligned across all channels. So when they type your name, they find you quickly. Let's reduce the friction for people trying to search for you. Your header banner across the top of your SoundCloud, you can style this up and you can use this space to promote stuff. So get into Canva. If you've not seen canva.com, go and get that program. There's an actual option for SoundCloud header and you can design up a header so that fits your, that space exactly and you can use it to promote whatever you've got coming up. Maybe it's your radio show, maybe it's your podcast, maybe it's a new mix, maybe it's releases. You can use that space to put in the artwork and make it look cool and use that for promotion. Our data transmission of the main channel, our drum and bass channel, we use the space to promote our weekly podcast and we change it every week for the podcast.
podcast and the Renegade Rhythms mix. Now, once you've got some music up there and some mixes up there, have you thought about getting it verified? If you go into your settings, you can apply for a blue tick for your page. Also, whilst you're in your settings, make sure you've chosen a profile name that matches your Instagram handle, your TikTok handle, and your Facebooks. I see so many accounts still that just say user 814567 blah, blah, blah. Let's make you look as pro as possible going into next year. Those mix series we were talking about earlier, make a cool artwork that continuous in Canva. Again, you go in there, album artwork, there's so many templates you can choose from and you can just change a color each week to keep it uniform and keep it tight to what you're doing. The more uniform and continuous it looks, the more it's going to look cool across all your other social media as well. And then also finally, while we're looking at what you look like, have you been on the SoundCloud app and see what you look like on the SoundCloud app? Search your page and what you look like on there. Most people, when they use SoundCloud, they use the SoundCloud app. It's like 97% or something ridiculous. Only a few percentage use desktop which is so bizarre because I use desktop every day of the week. So how do you look? Can you click on all your social media links? Can you see your bio? Can you read everything? Does your header look cool? Does your profile picture look clean? Can you see you in the picture? What do you look like on the app? Because this is where most people are going to find you. And can they find you and your music and your mixes quickly? Do those tests. Did you find this useful? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're not doing. Let me know what you think of all the AI updates for SoundCloud in the comments. I'd love to know. If you did find this useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping so many new videos next year and we're going to be growing this channel and become part of our Shedhead family where like I said we're also doing two demo streams every week Mondays and Wednesdays here on YouTube. So you started using SoundCloud and SoundCloud Varitis and it's all starting to swim nicely but your plays are still really low. How are you going to get more plays on your tracks in 2024? Do you want to get 5,000 plays on, on your tracks in a few days? Well then you should definitely watch this video next to go and learn some extra tips on how to grow your plays on SoundCloud next year. Jump over there and I'll see you over there. I've been Graham Farmer. I'll see you soon.